Welcome back to another YouTube video regarding the Inko Reciprocating Song. So, I'm actually pretty happy with how the video came. It already has more than 10,000 views, if I'm correct. Also, I think I keep on getting subscribers, which is really great. So, thank you very much for commenting, for liking, and for subscribing. So, for the people who are watching this right now, if you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe if you like it. Feel free to leave a like and comment as well. If you have any videos in mind that you want me to show, just let me know. Okay, so we're going back to an old video of mine, this reciprocating video. I will be making this second video for the test because sadly, the test I did in the first video weren't enough. And it didn't really show what this product can do. So after using it for I think more than a year and for the stuff we used it on, it handled out pretty good. I had no issues with it whatsoever, no misalignment, no play. The mortar was fine, the shoe was fine, the spring was fine, the lock and everything was fine, the triggers, the dials, everything was great. Okay, so now we're going to be cutting the GI pipe. So I'll be showing this entirely in actual time except for a few of them because it took very long. So it cuts pretty well, no issues so far. I've been using it for quite some time. And it cuts clean too. The next thing we're gonna be cutting would be As you can see, the cut is clean, so no issues. It didn't really have a problem with cutting it. The power was still there, good enough to cut. Next here, we're gonna try corrugated bar because a lot of people can need corrugated bar, so I think this could be a good example. So I think this is number either nine, or eight, I forgot what number or what gauge this was. But it's still cut pretty good. Some sparks, so always wear protection. Gloves, if needed. Gloves, uh, eyewear, and your earplugs. So here we'll be cutting wood. I think this is Nara wood. So this is pretty tough. So I decided to use this. I'm only going to cut a small portion because I don't want to waste the wood. So I'm using the wood blade here and it's cutting pretty fast, pretty quick. Doing its job perfectly. With no issues whatsoever. Next one we're going to be using, I forgot what is this, 5 inches? 5 or 4 inch nail hammered into the wood so we could replicate what it would be doing in demolition or like housing or furniture or scaffoldings or whatever so we're using here right now is the metal blade because we can't use the wood blade for this because it's it's gonna get cut off in the nail so always remember if if you're going to be cutting nails or in between joints, make sure you use the metal blade so you get a clean cut. And there you go. It doesn't look like it did not cut, but it certainly did as you can see. There's the other part with the nail in it. I'm going to wipe it off on the hand. You can see the nail is in both sides, meaning it cut right through real clean. Next one is <laughs> just for a joke, but here, this is a PVC, so of course it's gonna cut real easy. So, so it cut real good in the PVC, which is great. Next, we're gonna be doing the leaf spring. This is a leaf spring. This is a leaf spring flat. Our carrier. So this is pretty thick metal. I forgot what gauge it is, but I can tell you it is thick because I had a really long 
hard time cutting this piece of wood, but uh, it's still doing its job. The only reason why it's not here was because it wasn't locked in properly on the bike. As you can see, it's just taking time. I'm not giving it too much power. I'm just giving it enough power so we don't strain the motor. There you go. Okay, so we just finished the demos and I would also like to show you what the product condition is in already. So the blade is fine, the play is normal, that's what that's how we got it in the first place. It has a bit of play which is entirely normal. So we so I here I've been so here I checked the lock. The lock is good, the shoe is good. The blade is still pretty good in its condition even though you can change it if you want but it's still working for me so I'll use it until it breaks or until if it does not give a good cut. So as you can see the metal blade still works, the metal cutting blade still works, the teeth are still there, still pretty fine, the wood blade still good. Despite it being used a lot on wood, hardwood, it didn't really show much issues of being dull. In fact, it's not really dull. So I'm a bit surprised for this one. For the metal saw blade, it's a bit off. So here, it, it has scratches because of course we've been using it over and over, so the paint will really scuff off. And here I'm checking the shoe, I'm checking the play. It's still aligned, which is good. The lock is still in great condition. So I'm just double checking if it's still fine. Still locks pretty good. So here we check the switch. Still in good condition. The dial as well, still in good condition. I don't know if that was a button or not, but let me know in the comments if it is, because I haven't actually noticed. So here, this is another close-up view of the shoe. As you can see, there's not there's no rust because, well, despite it being used a lot and getting dirty, no rust. The, pa the paint doesn't come off easily. The cord here's the cord. You can see the cord is in still pretty good condition despite what it's been through. The only thing I don't like about this reci uh, reciprocating saw is the disadvantage it has. Since it's only used by wire, you can't really use it outside entirely. Not unless if you have the long extension cord. If there is the battery powered reciprocating saw, which is great, but I wasn't able to buy it because I could not afford it yet. So I went with this one. So if I were you, you can also try the battery operated one. The battery operated one because it is easier to move around. You could bring it outside. If you're cutting trees, bark, whatever, you can use it. Not like this one where you're limited to a power supply, which is the socket. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you like, I mean, if you like the video, of course you can like, leave a comment and subscribe. You want more videos in mind. You can also give me suggestions on what I should be videoing in the future. Hopefully I'll be doing moto vlogs if you guys want but I'm not entirely sure yet because I don't have a camera for that yet. Hopefully in the future you guys would still come and watch my videos. Thank you very much. God bless and have a nice day. Stay tuned.